Yeah. Amen. At this time, without further ado, I thank God for my friend, a man of God, Pastor Louis Alberti. I remember meeting Pastor Alberti when he came. The first time we met, we were in a revival on Old King's Road at Apostle Leroy Robinson's church, Flaming Fire Deliverance Ministry. Okay. And the, Pastor Alberti came and you know, he said, normally I don't let preachers lay hands on me and <laughs> pray for me and stuff like that. But somehow we felt it was okay for him to come into service and have us minister to him. Amen. And ever since that day, praise God, uh, you know, we've been friends and laborers together, working in the kingdom of God. Amen. And we just appreciate God for him, his love for God, his zeal, his fire. And I know not just for God, but Pastor Bird is the man that I know and in my spirit. If he could take you know, the shirt off his back, if you need it, he'll give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. So I thank God for him, amen. I'm happy to know him as a brother in Christ, amen, as a true man of God. Let's put our hands together. And Lord, let's welcome the pastor of Jesus Place Ministry, Pastor Louis Alberti. God bless you. Amen. Pastor Alberti, God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank God for Apostle Myers, amen, I was Looking around to see who that person was that he was introducing. Amen. <laughs> uh, we thank God, amen, for being here tonight. And uh, we know that time is very serious and we want to take advantage of time. Amen. amen. Uh, time is important. Amen. amen. And uh, we thank God, amen, for this tent being here. We're just going to obey God. We thank God for. Pastor Annette Midas, amen, the husband, uh, the wife of Apostle Midas, amen, uh, team that evangelize and work, amen, and do a work for the Lord, amen, and don't mind that God use them, amen, thank God for uh, my cousin, amen, Greg, amen, and uh, we want to thank God for Jason and Cindy, amen, amen, they don't Amen. I don't believe that it's no accident that yes. they're here tonight. I believe, amen, everything is, is divinely appointed. Amen. 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 We're going to um, ask you to look at just a few scriptures with us. Uh, Romans 8, 27. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about the Holy Spirit tonight. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. A little bit about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, how many know that everybody that's a part of the body of Christ need the Holy Spirit? Amen. Uh, we call it the Holy Ghost. Amen. It don't make a difference, amen, if you say the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, amen. We are talking about, amen, the Spirit of God, and everybody needs the Holy Ghost, amen. It was during uh, one of Paul's missionary trips that he came across a group of Ephesian church members. They were actually... John the Baptist's disciples. All right. <laughs> and he asked them a question. He said, uh, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Amen. <laughs> and the answer that they replied to him probably shocked them. They said, we have not so much has heard that there was a Holy Ghost. That's Acts 19 and 2. They had even heard of the Holy Ghost. So you could be a believer and not have the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to be unheard of the Holy Ghost. Right. But I tell you one thing, if you do not have the Holy Ghost, <laughs> you do not have anything to keep you. That's why the church is so carnal now. There's so many folks in the church who do not have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And it's, it's important that as a member of Christ, as a part of the body of Christ, that you have the Holy Ghost. Amen. As a matter of fact, Jesus said, I'm going away, 
How many know Jesus has gone away? Yes. Jesus right now sit on the right hand of the Father. Jesus ain't in the earth right now. Jesus is sitting on the right hand of the Father in heaven. That's right. They say when they stoned Stephen, he stood up in heaven. Amen. So he's sitting on the right hand, but he said, I'm going to send you another comforter. When he was in the earth, he was a comforter to the earth. Then he said, I'm going to send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. And what happens in these days and time, the church is not putting in emphasis on folks that are coming into the church. There's no emphasis placed on them receiving the Holy Ghost. So as a, as a result, we got a carnal church Amen. without any power whatsoever. That's why when folks come into the church, folks can't get saved because there's no saving power in there because you got to have the Holy Ghost in order to get saved. Somebody got to be spirit filled in order for folks to get saved. Yes, Hallelujah. That's right, Lord. It said uh, the personality of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a person as much as the Father and the Son. See, see the Holy Ghost, it say if you blaspheme, it say God will forgive you. It say that Jesus will forgive you. It said, but if you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, there is no forgiveness. And folks do it ignorantly every day. But thank God that they do it ignorantly. Amen. Because uh, when you do things ignorantly, amen, glory to God. For some reason, God will excuse you by ignorance, amen. But when you come to a knowledge of a thing, yeah. then God holds you accountable to do the right thing, amen. And, and if you're going to be a member of the body of Christ, you're going to have to get filled with the Holy Ghost. They used to make it a point. Yeah, that's right. 25 years ago when you came into the church, they made it a point that everybody that came down to this altar and accept Jesus Christ in the part of their sin, they would not let them leave that altar until they were sure that they had received the Holy Ghost or the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And sometimes it would be speaking in other tongues that the Spirit would give them utterance. And that's not just only the, that's not the only way uh, to know that you got the Holy Ghost, but that's a sure way to know that you got the Holy Ghost by speaking in other tongues that the Spirit Gave utterance, amen. That's right. Hallelujah. In these days and times, amen, folks are smarter than God. They say that you don't have to speak in tongues. You're smarter than God. God, if God wants you to, uh, 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 a preacher was on an airplane uh, and he went off into tongues, and the sitting next to him was a Chinese, and the Chinese nudged him and said, You speak Chinese? He said, No. He said, What he told him, what he said in the Chinese language. Amen. How many know that the Holy Spirit speaks uh -huh. every language? Under the sun. Yes, you don't want to just be. Amen. amen. Oh. Locked into witnessing to just people who speak English. If God want to use me to speak Swahili to somebody about his word, then if I obey myself, then God will use me to speak Swahili if I give him my vocal. That's right. Amen. Yes, he will. Good word. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, and he searches the heart and knows who is the mind of the spirit because he makes an intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans 8, 27. The Holy Spirit make intercessory prayer for us. Sometimes we don't even know what we ought to be praying for. That's right. Come on. We be praying for stuff that don't even make sense sometimes. That's right. <laughs> Asking God for houses and asking God for land. And, yeah. and, and, and all you got to do is ask God for case, I just ask God for joy. Yes. And if I say, God, give me joy, amen, glory to God. God know my heart. He just sets out my heart and he know inside of me my joy. I got to have a house to have joy. Amen, glory to God. Now, now only, don't get me wrong. I have slept outside before now. Don't get me wrong. I done been in a battered house, amen. I was on drugs, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. And I did that, amen, glory to God. I done it by choice. Yes. Because I could have always been home. Come on. As long as my mama breathing, I could go home. Yeah. Amen. She's Come living on. right now. I could go right there in that little room she got <laughs> and get on the couch and go to bed if I want to. <laughs> All right. So I did those things by choice. Amen. Glory to God. But what I'm saying is, amen, there's a place that I've grown. Amen. And I got a family. Amen. I got grandkids. Amen. That I want to, amen, be, uh, uh, have fellowship with. Amen. So I need certain things in order to have joy when they come around. So when I pray and ask God to give me joy, he give me all those things that I need to have joy when I'm trying to get. If I pray and ask God for peace, then God give me all the things that I need in order to have peace in my mind. Amen. Glory to God. See, you have to ask God for the right thing. We spend time asking God for car. Amen. God know that I got to have a car in order to have peace because I got to get around. I work. I 
got to have somewhere to haul people uh, 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 material to their jobs and all. So God understand that. Right. But the Holy Spirit, it searches the heart and it knows the mind, amen. So, so we got to have the, the Spirit of God on us, amen. Amen. Glory to God. The first year in the verse, he's referenced to the Son of God. Amen. That's seen in Romans 8. Amen. What a what a truth, amen, that the Holy Spirit, amen, has an intercessory ministry, amen, and the Son of God. Jesus also had an intercessory ministry, amen. The Holy Spirit is doing the same, amen. The Holy Spirit is doing the, that's why Jesus said you can do greater works than what he did because the works you do, amen, glory to God, is done through the Holy Spirit. When Jesus, amen, was on the earth, amen, in the bodily, when Jesus was on the earth in bodily farm, amen, glory to God, he could not walk through walls, amen, glory to God. But when after the resurrection, amen, glory to God, he came back, amen, in the spiritual realm, he came back walking through walls, amen, with whole nail scar hands, amen, the proof, amen, that he was like Christ. Yeah, hallelujah. See, we can do so much more in the ministry with the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, amen, glory to God. You got to have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you because it leads you and guides you into all truth. It's your lead, it's your guide. Now, anybody here ever did LSD? You're in the spirit world without a guy. <laughs> see all kind of stuff, then you? When you take out this, you see all kind of things. Hallucination my foot. You see it into the spirit realm, what you see. You ain't hallucinate. How come every time you do it, you hallucinate that? How come you seeing things every time you do it? You looking into the spirit world and you out there without a guy. And a lot of times people go out there in the spirit world without a guy and they can't get back. And they be over there somewhere on a fishing pole, fishing on a bridge without a pole. <laughs> Here, which is the Holy Spirit, amen. And what we got to do now is we got to 
reverence the Holy Spirit. We got to reverence the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is very sensitive. Amen. Glory to God. It don't force itself upon nobody. You got to want the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. And you you got to really ask the Holy Spirit in. You got to ask the Holy Spirit to come in. Amen. The glory to God. And you got to be willing to be cleansed. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit knows your heart and it knows your mind. Amen. Glory to God. And it won't come and take residence on the inside of you unless you want to be clean because the Holy Spirit will purge you. The word purge means, amen, glory to God. It will drown all unrighteousness out of you, amen, glory to God, and fill you with the Spirit of God. You'll find yourself, when you used to be mean, amen, glory to God, and dishonored, you'll find yourself nice and honest now. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because you got a new spirit. You've been born again. Not, out of the, not of that old flesh, the spirit, but of the Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. True. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. The Holy Spirit has a will. Mm -hmm. Amen. First Corinthians 12 and 11 says, But all these work that one and the self same Spirit, divided to every man several as he will. The Holy Spirit is the one that divide gifts unto man as he will. Several and give you gifts. Amen. Glory to God. You have to go. The Holy Spirit is the one who divide gifts unto us. Amen. Glory to God. Right. See, one of the things that, that, that I, when I was reading and praying, God said, Son, they off the Holy Spirit, amen, is so important to the church today. And he said, but they're almost done just about, like when he, uh, he asked me, you uh, uh, received the Holy Ghost since you believe. They said, we ain't so much as heard of the Holy Ghost. Most of the church world of dead hadn't heard of the Holy Ghost. Amen, much less received the Holy Ghost. Because ain't nobody preaching the Holy Ghost. Ain't nobody teaching the Holy Ghost. Ain't nobody trying to get folks to receive the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost won't let you be tricked. The Holy Ghost will tell you when a joke is a liar. The Holy Ghost will tell you when a joke is a false prophet. The Holy Ghost will let you know if he's a deceiver. And no, nobody, amen, that's false. Amen, want you to know, amen, glory to God, that you can get the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost will let you know what he's doing. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. So in the latter days, which we live in, the last days, they'll make merchandise out of you, put you in these big old mega churches that make what merchandise is kept in warehouses. They will warehouse you. Amen. Glory to God. All you is is a bank deposit to these folks. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Fine riding private airplanes in the country that went broke. My Lord. People can't stay in their homes. That's right. Spiritual weakness is in high places. The devil has transformed himself into an angel of light. And in most of the churches in America, he's sitting in high places in most of them. That's right. The church is almost like a corporate world. You almost got to be like in the corporate world or, or like in Hollywood. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised that they don't start giving them out Oscars. That's right. For the best performance, amen, glory to God. Because most of it is just performing. And most of it, amen, glory to God, is ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Ominous is the way in the church, amen, glory to God. When you get that, amen, the spirit of Christ, and you you get become humble, amen, and meek, amen, glory to God, because you know you can't do anything without the spirit of God that's spiritual, amen, glory to God. Folks sending people dreams. Yes, Telling people to give them a thousand dollars. You can't buy nothing from God. God ain't for sale. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. The Holy Ghost could forbid. Acts 16, 6 and 7. Say now when they had gone through Philippus in the region of Galate and were forbid of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. The Holy Ghost said, no, don't go preach down in Asia. After they will come to Marcia, they are said to go into Bethany, but the Spirit suffered them not. The Holy Ghost forbid them to go there. Sometimes the Holy Ghost will forbid you to do things. But how are you going to be forbid by the Holy Ghost to do something if you can't hear the Holy Ghost? If you can't hear from the Holy Ghost? If you ain't got the Holy Ghost on the inside speaking to you, you can't because it speaks to your mind. The Holy Ghost don't speak in loud audio voices. And most of the time when you get an audio voice, it's going to either be from God or Jesus Christ. But the Holy Ghost speaks to your mind. Amen. Glory to God. Because, amen, it searches the mind and it speaks to your mind. Amen. Glory to God. It tells you, you say, something told me not to do that. Don't say no, something told you not to do that. The Holy Ghost told you not to do that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He 
permits. And after you've seen the vision immediately, we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathered that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. Acts 16 and 10. He permitted them to go in there and preach the gospel. Some places the Holy Ghost won't even permit you to preach. I've been in churches where I couldn't even preach. What no spirit, amen, where the spirit of God is there is liberty. What no liberty in there, amen, glory to God. So I couldn't even preach, amen, glory to God. I almost couldn't get words to come out of my mouth, amen, glory to God. Because there were no liberties, amen. And I wasn't able to get no word from the spirit. So I couldn't preach in there because I tried to preach under the auction of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, amen, glory to God. And the Holy Ghost didn't have a word for them. I know preachers know what I'm talking about, amen. They've been places, amen, where it was hard to pull, amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. 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 He speaks. The Holy Ghost speaks to us, amen, glory to God. Amen. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot, amen. The Holy Spirit spoke to Philip, amen. And I'm here to tell you the Holy Spirit will speak to you tonight if you would allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. The Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God. If you let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you, you ain't got to worry about going wrong, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. If the Holy Ghost lead and guide you, it's going to direct you from sin. It's going to direct you toward God, amen. God don't hate sinners, but he hates sin. Sin always mess people up. Every sin that I ever committed messed me up. Every sin it might have seemed good to me at the start, but the end of that thing, man, was leading me to death. Right. Do you hear the word? Yes, Amen. 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 He loves. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, Romans 15 and 30. Amen. And it's a wonderful thing to know, amen, glory to God, that amen, if each believer is filled with the Holy Spirit, that we all basically be praying for the same thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. You can't do nothing, amen, in the church without the Holy Spirit, amen. We got to give reverence Amen. And give place to the Holy Spirit in the church. Amen. Glory to God. We got to get people, amen, filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. They come in, amen, glory to God, and you get them to the altar, and you get them saved. Amen. You bring them, you give them a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then they're leaving, and they, they don't experience the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Something wasn't done right. Amen. Amen. He prays. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. The Spirit helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes an intercession of us with groaning which cannot be urged. Romans 8, 26. And the Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God, begin to groan, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And pray for us, amen, glory to God. The Holy Spirit is interceding for us. We don't know what we ought to pray for, amen, glory to God, because, amen, glory to God, if you ain't walking in the Spirit, amen, glory to God, you ain't able to see in the Spirit, amen, glory to God. If you're walking in the flesh, then you just pay the attention to the things that are of the flesh. Right now, amen, glory to God, if God should open our eyes to the Spirit, amen, this would look like a whole different world to you, amen, glory to God. If God would open our eyes to the Spirit realm, amen, glory to God, this, this everything that looks so different to you, amen, there's so many different, there's angels all around us where God said, be careful how you entertain strangers of the world. Sometimes you're in a strange, and sometimes you got angels, amen, hallelujah, that's in your presence, amen, angels can take bodily form of human beings, Amen. So you got to be careful how you entertain people, how you treat people, amen, how you handle people, amen, glory to God. Because you may be handling angels, amen, all the well, amen, because you're not looking into that spiritual realm, amen. But if you walk, you got to walk in the spirit, amen, glory to God. And so you can see in the spirit. God looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, why are you looking for people that's going to worship him in spirit and truth? Because what you do in spirit is truth, amen. You can't lie in the spirit. Everything starts out in the spirit realm anyway. 
to get ready to, to do some work in this building. And before they allow us to do work in this building, the city said, y'all got to show us a set of plans. Show us what you're going to do. Before we do anything, they want to see the plan. In other words, they want to see what this building going to look like when we get finished with it. Amen. Glory to God. So the Holy Spirit, amen. God already, amen. Hallelujah. Your DNA, when it's assigned to you, amen. Glory to God. Everything that's about you is in the assignment of that DNA. God, they, when they say, when, amen. Glory to God. At the time of conception, amen. Once God assigned you DNA, Amen. Glory to God. You become a living soul. Amen. Glory to God. Because like everything is in your DNA assignment. Who you going to be? Amen. Glory to God. What you going to do? Amen. Where you going to go? Amen. It's all in your DNA assignment. God don't just go along making this stuff up as he go along. He's God of this entire universe. Amen. He's a God of all. Amen. Yes. That's why we got to yield ourselves to the spirit of God. Amen. It's very important the day that we bring the spirit back into the church. We need spirit-filled churches. Yes. I'm going to believe that tonight. Amen. We need spirit-filled churches. Amen. The Holy Spirit, and we don't give, we don't give enough acknowledgement to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. But the Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God, is on the same plateau with Jesus and God. And the Holy Spirit, amen,
But something that God is doing or the Holy Spirit is doing, amen, glory to God. Tell me something told me. Uh, 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 something said don't go there. Ain't no something said don't go there. You spirit, feel the spirit of God told you not to go down there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. People sitting up in these dead churches, amen, glory to God, with dead works. Amen, glory to God. No, they dead churches. No, it's dead works. Amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. But they can't leave because they can't find a living church. They can't find them with life in it. They can't find them. Hallelujah. That's doing the work. Most folks, ain't nobody getting saved in this hour. Amen. But I thank God for that young man and young lady. Amen. Glory to God. Being under this tent. If they were here just by themselves. Amen. There. Amen. Glory to God. There. Amen. Uh, uh, in the heads and in the highways. I thank God for them. Amen. Glory to God. And I, I don't want, I'm not one to tell folks business. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God said in the last days, you got to go out into the heads and the highway, and you got to compel me to come in. Amen. Glory to God. We got enough church folks in Jacksonville to save the whole state of Florida. Come on, God. Hallelujah. My God. It give you an indication of the authority that Satan has taken over into the church. Okay. These folks, amen, glory to God, is bidding for who can make the best speeches, amen, who sound the best, amen, glory to God, who got the most television ratings, amen, glory to God, who looking at, amen, how smart it is, amen, you can be smart as you want to, but you ain't smarter than the Holy Ghost, amen, glory to God, that's why I say you don't have no need that any man should teach you, amen, glory to God, not that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will lead you, the Holy Ghost will teach you, amen, you can read the Bible for yourself, and the spirit that was in those 40 writers, amen, glory to God, is the same. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost wrote the New Testament. The Holy Ghost wrote the Old Testament. Amen. Glory to God. That's why I can all, amen, come together. Amen. Glory to God. It's just, amen, glory to God. I, I, Sometimes I can write. Hallelujah. Sometimes I'll be right. Amen. When I'm a preacher. And sometimes I'm just holding the pen. Amen. Glory to God. I know when I'm doing that because all my words get spelled right. I can't spell, but when I spell all my words right, I know it's the Holy Ghost doing the right thing. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you the truth. Amen. Glory to God. And the Holy Ghost is what wrote the Bible. That's why. Amen. It's in the Arab. It ain't no error in it. Amen. Glory to God. It took a thousand years to write it. And the Holy Ghost is the only living being that's been around on earth right now. So if it's the Holy Ghost that wrote the word, I know for a fact that the Holy Ghost can tell me what it's saying because I got to be in the same mind that the writer was in in order to understand what it, I can read a book, you can read a book, amen, glory to God. But if we don't understand what it is that the writer is saying, you may interpret it one way, I may interpret it another way. Not so with the Bible, amen, glory to God. When we read the Bible and we read it under the Spirit, amen, glory to God, the Spirit going to tell you the same thing it tell me. Amen. It's time to put the spirit of God back in these churches. It's time for men of God to start fasting and praying and crying out for people's souls. Start getting a burden for the lost. Amen. Stop trying to justify the reason they need so much cash money. I ain't got no problem with cash money, but I don't, I don't need but a certain amount of it. I guarantee you to do what I got to do. Amen. Glory to God. I ain't got to have, amen, all the money in the world. Amen. Glory to God. I, I heard, amen, glory to God. I heard a preacher say, amen, that, hallelujah, that his bills was $9,000 an hour. Oh, wow. <laughs> that about a little bit like 18, 18 million dollars a year. Hey Amen. Can you imagine what you could do with 18 million dollars as far as going out here winning souls to Christ? Amen. Glory to God. I believe I could win the whole city of Jacksonville with 18 million dollars. Amen. I know at least I could get them all in one place. Amen. Glory to God. Because I tell everybody I'm going to give them a 10 dollar bill. <laughs> Amen. But we got to get the spirit of God back in these churches. Amen. Back in people. That's why we won't have so much misery going on in homes. That way our little kids, amen, glory to God, we'll be able to speak, we'll be able to discern what's going on with our children, amen. We don't have to go and search their rooms. You'll be able to look at that boy and tell you he ain't doing something right. Amen, glory to God. God will give you the 
discernment of spirit, amen, glory to God. You'll walk in a place and you'll feel danger in that place. You'll sense that danger. I did it many a times, amen, glory to God. It was the Holy Ghost, amen, glory to God. I went place and the Holy Spirit told me, leave this place, amen, glory to God. Sometimes I get uncomfortable around people, amen, because the Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God, has given me discernment of spirit, and I know what's in this spirit, amen, glory to God, and I know what they're about, amen, glory to God. spirit fear. You got to let the Holy Ghost lead us. And the Holy Ghost God. Amen. And if the Holy Ghost give you a multi-million dollar ministry, if the Holy Ghost leading you and guiding you, ain't nothing wrong with that. That means that you got a double portion of God's spirit being, amen, glory to God. And I tell people that all the time. They say they preach double portion. And I hear preachers, amen, glory to God. I hear name brand preachers preach double portion, amen. And I'll be waiting to hear the double portion, amen. And they use the illustration as Elijah and Elisha, amen, glory to God. When Elijah walked over to the Jordan River, he spoke the Jordan River, amen, with his mouth and it walked across his door. He was on dry land. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Elijah, amen. Glory to God. And prophesied to a lady. Amen. Glory to God. That lady boy died. Elijah scrambled that boy. And life came back in that boy body. Amen. Here's a man that's so full with the Spirit of God that he raised the throat from the dead. Now you tell me how much more spirit Elijah got to have. Amen. To get a double portion of what Elijah had. He said, But if you see me go up, amen. Glory to God. Then God will give you the double portion. I did the research. I had to know. I'm a man. I want to know. Amen. And I did the research. And Elijah in his ministry, go do it. Elijah didn't have no money. Elijah in his ministry was broke. Amen. Elijah was rich in his ministry. He had money. He had wealth. Amen. Glory to God. A rich man with money is double potion. Amen. Glory to God. Can you imagine you being rich with God's spirit in you? You got relatives in New York dying, and you can get in the airplane and fly out there and spell a moment and, 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 and administer the word of God in their spirit. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Get them saved before they die. Amen. Glory to God. Or better yet, God heal them right there. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. God speak to you. Amen. Glory to God. I, I'm speaking like this because I know, amen, that I had a friend of mine. He was a disabled veteran. They took him down to Lake City. And I can't, amen. And God spoke to my heart and said, You need to go to Lake City and witness to him. I walked in the house, amen, it was about 4 o'clock, God told me that about 8 o'clock that morning, I walked in the house, and when I walked in the house, my wife said, God, I want you to go to Lake City, amen, I knew I had to get to Lake City then, because now he done told my wife I gotta go, so I get in the car at 4 o'clock, go on to Lake City, and get down to Lake City, amen, glory to God, and they don't know what's wrong with them, amen, glory to God, but I goes in there, amen, glory to God, because we spirit led, amen, glory to God, lead him to the Lord, he one say he gets saved, amen, except the Lord crying like a baby, amen, and I'm telling you, amen, stuff all in his room start falling, amen, glory to God, wasn't nobody standing there, amen, glory to God, stuff start falling, I said, because he was getting ready to die, the devil was waiting for that soul, I said, the devil showed up mad up in here. But God wants you to be able to do work, so you're going to have, God going to bless you, amen, glory to God. But you first to get a double potion, you first got to get the single potion. You first got to get a, a potion, amen, glory to God. You first got to get some spirit, amen, and before you double up on it, amen, glory to God. And if you see you first the kingdom of God is righteous, and the rest of this junk will be added to you, amen. God will give you the desire. God will give you joy and peace, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. And God know, amen, glory to God, amen, a man, amen. Wife and children. God know if that man, amen, can't provide for his family, he ain't gonna have no peace. God know if that man can't feed his children, he ain't gonna have no peace. God know if that man gotta be out there in the cold, amen. Glory to God, walking up and down the street with his children, he ain't gonna have no peace. So when you pray and ask God for peace, a car is in it, a house is in it, and everything else that you need for peace. I don't know what it takes for people to understand this, they pray for the wrong stuff. God, give me a house. Come on. Be specific with God. Jesus. Time I, Brother Gray, one time I was praying and asked God to bless me with $500. I was on my way to work and dead $500 laying down on the ground. Yeah. I picked it up and it was a play bill. God said, be specific with me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a God for U.S. currency. When I pray for finance, I said, U.S. currency. Amen. I tell him the notes I want. Amen. Glory to God. I don't want no counterfeit. I want real money. Bill paying money. <laughs> Amen. I done 
tell him, I said, five hundred dollars, picked up a five hundred dollar play bill. <laughs> I learned right then what that's God for. Amen, glory to God. I said, you got to learn what to pray for. Amen, glory to God. I started asking, I don't ask God about no bills. I said, God, I need, I pray for joy. I got, I need joy. Lord, I need peace in my mind. I can't have no peace in my mind sitting up in there hungry. Amen. Glory to God, look in the refrigerator and the roaches done took it over. Amen. Glory to God, you know it's bad when the roaches take over the refrigerator. <laughs> We gotta get the spirit back into the church. Amen. We gotta get the spirit back inside of people. Amen. It's because the Holy Spirit is what causes us to live right. Amen. amen. It leads us and guides us. It's the convictor. Amen. Glory to God. Ain't no conviction. And I can go to churches and I go to churches and, and the preacher preaching no conviction whatsoever. I heard one preacher preach God love every, he should have cleaned that up. God love everybody in the whole earth. God love you homosexual in your struggle as you struggle with your homosexuality. Don't give that man no leeway for that sin. God hate that sin, homosexual. God hate the sin. Because the sin is going to hurt you. That's why God hate it. Amen. God, yeah, God love you. That's true. But God hate the sin. And if you don't convert to that God, that God going to punish you because, amen, God love you. Love is what love causes children so I chastise, I correct them I amen, mean, God will correct you when you're wrong I get corrected all the time don't you get corrected, God correct me when I'm wrong and correction is not a pleasant thing while it's happening to you so a lot of folks don't really want no spirit they're in the spirit of error right now most churches is really in the spirit of error because they don't have the Holy Spirit in them amen the Holy Ghost is real sensitive, amen. And we have to keep the Holy Spirit, amen. We have to do certain things, amen, glory to God. And sometimes you got to even push your plate away, you know. Amen, I'm putting my flesh, my flesh getting too big, amen, talk to it. You tell that flesh, I tell you what, amen, glory to God. You want to go to looking at, amen, you want to start looking at women wrong, huh? I tell you what, you won't be eating for three days. See what that stop you from burning his eyeball that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it works. You push that plate back for three days, amen, glory to God. And it teach you how you're supposed to look, amen, glory to God. And it, glory to God. The Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God. It teaches how we ought to walk in this godly way, amen. We will not have to worry about Christians getting divorces, amen, glory to God. They're too busy doing God's work. When you're busy doing God's work, you're too busy to be getting in all kind of junk. Right. Good word. Yes. Yes. And it's, it's just so much. That you can say, I mean, you can say as much about the Holy Spirit as you can say about God and Jesus. You know, it's a, you, I could go on and on. But all I want to do tonight is, amen, or, is those that are here, amen, glory to God. And I learned this a long time ago, amen, glory to God. It don't take a whole lot of people for the word to get out. Not only that, there are ministering angels around here too, amen, glory to God. Now, I tell you what, you don't believe me, go home and start looking at television, amen, glory to God. And watch you see them start talking about the spirit. All right, Amen. Because there's ministry angels around here. And they'll take it. Amen. Glory to God. And there is some of the folks that come on that television that trying to do right. All of them ain't, all of them ain't about the dollar. There's a few of them come on that TV that really trying to do. God will always have somebody that's going to lift up a standard for him. I don't care what it is. God will always have them a man or a woman that's going to lift up him a standard. Amen. Glory to God. But God, hallelujah. But we in the latter days, amen. And the enemy has turned from the seven to the angel of life. And he's in the church very strong, amen, glory to God. And he's trying to tear down everything that God has built up, amen, glory to God. He has already, one thing, I know he done ripped up out of the church is the altar, amen, wow. glory to God. The altar was a place of sacrifices. When they brought those things to the altar, amen, glory to God, they would burn those things. Fire is a cleansing, fire is a purifier, amen, glory to God. Fire, if you got gold, they take gold and they burn gold until all the drunk come off of it before it becomes pure gold, amen. Sometimes we be in the fire, amen. God trying to burn all that, trying to purify us, amen. Trying to burn all that junk up off us. Trying to get all them little foxes that fall the fire. Trying to get in me and strife, amen. Bite, bite, amen. And, and being judgmental of folks, amen. Lord, everybody has to be critical because, amen, one of the nature of men is to be critical, amen. Lord, God, we say critical, but it's judgmental. That's one of the nature of men, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
And so we have to fight against them, war against them things. Amen. Glory. The Holy Spirit will bring that stuff to your attention and say, look here, you need to straighten this up. Amen. It'll, it will convict us. Amen. Amen. They say, I'm getting ready to close. They say, when you go, I done been to, I done been to jail, so I know. I've been to jail a dozen times. I say 11 times, but I went to jail one time. I was in the military, so I've been to jail a dozen times. <laughs> and uh, they tell you when you're in jail that, that you're innocent and to prove guilt. <laughs> and, and the way they and the way they disciple that is they get if if you hadn't been sinners, you get a hot brush. <laughs> And if, if you've been sinner, they give you cold cuts or cold lunches. That's the difference between, amen, being guilty and innocent in jail. But you both locked up, amen, glory to God. You got you to prove your innocence, amen, glory to God. And glory to God, now you ain't got to start doing no crime. You ain't going to start doing no time until you go to a judge and get convicted of a crime, amen, glory to God. So the Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God, ain't going to let you start going through nothing until you become convicted, amen, glory to God. And you got to be convicted in your heart, amen, glory to God. You can go years without being convicted. The Holy Ghost ain't going to us you, amen, glory to God. The Holy Ghost ain't going to carry you through nothing unless you become convicted, amen. Now, once you get convicted, now it's time to get to, it's time for to be, to be sinners to something, amen, glory to God. Amen, glory to God. I sent us you to live right, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. I, my job, amen, glory to God, is to present you as a chase first. The Holy Ghost is the best man to Christ. The Holy Ghost's job is to present the church without spot or rancor to Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost got to say he is your pride. She's with a spot on right glory to God. Hallelujah. She's a pure person. She's chased undefiled before the world. Amen. Glory to God. Take her. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Once you come into the, amen, the acceptance of the Holy Ghost in you, Holy Ghost will get you to Christ. The Holy Ghost will present you to Christ by whatever means necessary. The Holy Ghost's job is to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Amen. It purges you of all ungodliness. Amen. Glory to God. And it will do its job. I'm telling you, it'll do its job. If you let it, it won't force itself on you. You gotta be convicted in your own heart. You gotta feel like it's wrong within yourself. People do wrong for years and don't feel like there's no nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing gonna change until they become convicted. Take the conviction out of the church, you take the power out of it. You take the spirit of God out of the church, you take the power out of it. Amen, glory to God. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no anointing. Amen, glory to God. You got to have the Holy Ghost for the anointing. Amen, glory to God. And it's the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know the anointing? Amen, glory to God. How many know the anointing? Amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. The anointing is what does the work. Amen. The anointing break yokes. Amen. The anointing destroy the yoke. Amen, glory to God. It take the anointing to destroy the yoke. Amen, glory to God. God. How do you mean? We must surrender our being to the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 As tough as it may be sometimes, Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes. Lead us and guide us and direct us yes. the ways that God would have us to go. Yes. God is coming back for a church. God, I guarantee you this church, I guarantee you the average church that you look at God ain't coming back for that. <laughs> church, you just start, amen, glory to God, you start being a fruit inspector. I ain't telling you to judge nobody, but start inspecting fruit. Oh amen, God. glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell you what, you start inspecting fruit. You tell me that this is an earthly rehearsal for a heavenly performance. Amen. What you do here on earth, you do, hey, I hear people talking about deathbed repentance. Stop your deathbed. Nothing. You done live like hell all your life. Ain't never did no good to nobody. And you think that you died and all of a sudden you're going to turn good. I don't think so. <laughs> you still When they was going, the Navy SEAL, SEAL Team 6 was going to, to get Osama Bin Laden, and they were interviewing him, and they were laying up there asleep <laughs> in the airplane, sleep. They're on their way to uh, Pakistan, and they're laying up there asleep. And actually, 
those folks could have declared war on us because we were invading their air territory. We, we didn't have no permission to go over there. We been over there. They could have declared war on us. And they goes in there and they ask them, say, uh, did you think about dying? He said, no, it wasn't part of the mission. <laughs> in other words, it ain't part of my mission. Amen. They don't even have that on their mind. All they thinking about is accomplice in the mission. They don't yeah. took, see, if a neighbor see it, that's what God want us to be. God want us to be CLT 6 in the church. Woo! Amen, glory. He want us so light. Amen, glory to God. Yeah. He want our mind, the mind that was in Christ. He wanted to be in us. I can see Christ on his way to the cross. Amen, glory to God. I can't see nobody going to the cross but Christ. I can't see nobody getting that bill pulled up but Christ. I see me getting my bill pulled on. I see me already serving 10,000 ladies to wipe them all out. You'll do it too, amen, to pull on your business. Especially start spitting on us. Amen. Kill them all. Get them. <laughs> amen. When I said the mind that was in Christ, let it be in us, amen, glory to God. We got to have that mind that was in Christ, amen, glory to God. And then Christ was, amen, glory to God. He wasn't seeing us as we were, amen, glory to God. He was seeing us as we were going to be, amen, glory to God. God knew it, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. Some of us is it preachers of missionary grade. God knew, amen, when you was out there running up and down that you was going to come into the church, amen, glory to God. God knew, amen, one day you're going to be a deacon in the church, amen, glory to God. God already know that, amen, glory to God. God already know what you're going to be, amen, glory to God. He ain't just making stuff up as he go along. Come on, come on, preacher. Now we in the day and time, amen, glory to God, with revival. Revival is in this tent, amen, glory to God. Revival comes from heaven. You can't get a revival unless God sent it. God does send it. And what he's saying is get back in the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Return my church back to me. Give me back my church. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, God. Amen. Yes. Preacher, get, give me back my church. That's my pride. The Holy Ghost got to present us to Christ. Yeah. Like it's about the level child of Corinthians where it say, I, I'm, I'm jealous. I got a godly jealous over you. Amen. Because I fear as Satan begull you in the God. I'm watching you carefully because I don't want him to begull you in this hour. Amen. Glory to God. And the Holy Ghost ain't going to let us be deceived. It's saying if it were possible, it would deceive the very elect. Now, don't you know if this thing, this thing would get the very elect of God? Don't you know this thing got to look so much like the church? They got to be looking and acting so much like the church that they'll fully let the God. It's just ain't possible that they could do it. Amen, glory to God. So they got to look so much like the church. Amen, glory to God. Pretending to do all the works of the church. Amen, glory to God. Folks, come down here. Amen. Ain't no altar. They just come up to the podium. Amen, glory to God. Because if you had an altar, you'll get on it. Amen, glory to God. If you had an altar, you'll cry. Amen, glory to God. If you had an altar, you'll leave something down at the altar. When you leave, you'll leave something. Amen. When you come to the altar, you come to make a deposit. When you come to the altar, you come to leave something. You come to bring your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. You don't come down here and leave the way you came. Amen. Come down here with a brand broken marriage and leave with a bad broken marriage. You didn't leave it to the altar. You took it. You came, but you didn't leave it. Tell you what, they don't, they don't let me preach in them churches. Well, I preach one time, they don't let me preach no cook. They know I'm going to preach conviction. Come on now. Right. I'll preach what the Holy Spirit tell me. Exactly, Told God when he said preach, I said, Lord, I'll do it. But one thing I don't want to have to depend on people for my livelihood. If I got to do that, don't let me have to depend on people for a livelihood. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I got to say what you want me to say, because I knew how tough it would get. I said, don't let me have to depend. Don't let them have my dinner on the table. You got preachers, they did on that table. Amen, glory to God. They done got themselves in all kind of debt. Amen, glory to God. Now they couldn't preach the truth if they wanted to. Amen. Good word. You better say that. <laughs> Jesus. Good word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And they ain't going to let you do it. My God. Yeah. My God. You know, that pre well, well, mine ain't that, 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 when you got a 50% divorce rate in the church, you tell me it ain't that bad. It's God. When most parents nowadays, doctor, when I was a kid, I didn't tell my mama what I was going to do. When I got up in the morning on Sunday morning, I got that little old blue salt suit on and got myself to walk into Sunday school. I knew I was going to go to church on Sunday. I didn't have to. My mama ain't say, you going to church Sunday. Every Sunday I got up, I knew I had to go to Sunday school as a child. Yeah. Yeah. 
and tell my mom about what I'm going. These little children, four years old, saying where they want to go and what they want to do, and the parents letting them. So I said, my people that are called by my name will honor themselves. See, first thing, we got to start praying. Turn from all our ways. You know, we pick up them ways. We get in there, we hit on Jim the back sermon. Oh, God is a God of mercy. God will forgive you. God will understand. Yeah, that's the problem. God will understand. He understands this, that you can live right. Jesus said, I've overcome the world. Be a good cheer. And you can do the same thing with the Holy Spirit. We can do the same thing. We got the power to live right. As a matter of fact, it ain't that tough a job to live right. All you're doing is not sinning. All you're doing is not doing wrong. You ain't stealing. You ain't committing adultery. You ain't fornicating. You ain't lying. Amen. You ain't biting, biting. Amen. You ain't hurting people. Amen. Glory to God. What's hard about that? What's hard is the ways of a transgressor. Going to bed at night feeling guilty because you're not talking about somebody. Amen. Searching for a place of repentance and you can't find none because you ain't humble enough. Amen. You ain't meek enough. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're unhappy. And you're miserable. You want everybody right to be on the heaven, visible, amen, glory to God, you're mean, amen, glory to God, and you're hateful, amen, glory to God, and you, because you don't have no spirit of God in you. Oh you get that spirit of God in you, amen, glory to God, man, you got to go study Jesus, you got to go study him, amen, glory to God, amen, amen. I, I say amen, glory to God, I mean, he was in the judgment hall, amen, he wouldn't even talk to them at a certain time, he said, don't you know I got the power to crucify you, he said, you ain't got no power over me. Except they giving to you from heaven. We just using you. <laughs> hey man, if you know what you you knew what you was about to do, and hey then you wouldn't even do it. I'm going home by way of the cross. I gotta get to the cross to get home. I can't commend my spirit to my father till I get to the cross. In my in your hand, Dad, I commend my spirit. And the heal of the ghost. And then we take it to the tomb. But he ain't go to no tomb, Brother Purdy. He went to hell and preached a three-day revival and the hell I had to don't say turn loose the keys. Yeah. Don't tell where's your stay. Great yeah. where's your victory? Yeah. Took captivity, led captivity captive. Yeah. And those that was bound, he set them free. Came back and told the church, said, all power was given to me in heaven and earth. In my name you can cast out devils and do the work that he gave us to do. That's good teaching. Yes. Yes. You can do it. Oh. In the name of Jesus, you can cast out devils because the Holy Spirit is doing the work, not you. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. I have to tell him, the devil, he's so busy telling. See, the devil, see faith, see faith work in the name of the pause. See, faith is faith. Negative or positive? If I believe I can, I can. If I don't believe I can, I can. It's both faith. Both of them working. You know, it's working against me or it's working for me. I don't believe I can do it. Because you can't raise no dead folks. You don't believe it. You never raise nobody from the dead. Amen. Glory to God. I can't get nobody delivered. You never get them delivered. I can't pray for nobody. Amen. It ain't you doing it. It's the Holy Ghost doing it. Amen. See, we got to get to the place where the Holy Spirit is. Holy Spirit spoke to me one day and said, go to the hospital. Amen. Glory to God. I got to the hospital. Amen. Glory to God. A young lady and, and, a, and a husband that jumped off into the swimming pool and, and the man that drowned and the young lady was on life support. And they told the mama that she, she got to look both her lungs and, and, and she got staying in the water too long and water not collapsed her lungs and she's just going to die. Amen. Glory to God. She probably never talked to y'all again. And the Lord spoke to my mind. See, the Holy Spirit said she can hear you if you talk to her. See, now I walked in there and the Spirit said she can hear you if you talk to her. Then she laid up there. Well, I was concerned the lady was dead. Jesus. That was me. But the Holy Spirit said, if you talk to us, you hear. I say, I say, I say, uh, I know you hear me. I say, you may not can speak. I say, but just thank on the name of Jesus. I tell you, the girl started ripping this stuff out of her arm. Scared me.
about these folks out here, yes. about God's people. Yes. Amen. Yes, revival, that started. Come on. Amen. You're going to be surprised who's going to be able to stay. Amen. We're going to have to start. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to have to start pushing our plates back. Yes. Amen. Start praying like never before. Amen. Amen. The reason why the enemy fight the family so hard is because he knows that you got two people there. Amen. You got two individual spirits right there. You got two people there. Amen. Glory to God. And the enemy know if any two of y'all could touch and agree, it should be easy for a husband and wife to agree on things. Especially when they got kids. You got to agree on your children's safety. Amen. Glory to God. You agree. Amen. No. Maybe you pray the blood of our grandchildren. No pedophile come no way in their vicinity. Amen. Glory to God. Nobody that's going to bring them hurt or harm or death. You can't come around them. We station the angels all around them. Amen. Glory to God. And we teach and train them. Amen. Glory to God. That they don't go to strangers. Amen. Glory to God. And if a stranger approach you, you get to us quick. Amen. Yeah, say that. That's it, girl. That's it. Amen. Amen. I know we was in the spirit because you get in the spirit and you get you lose time. Time don't have no value in the spirit. Come on, man. I'm telling you, time don't have no value in spirit yeah. because the spirit don't have no need of that. The spirit don't have need to value time. Come on, Amen. 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 Glory to God. So yeah. time fast beats. It's now something already. You know, <laughs> now almost now heard that. It's time for us to shut it down. Amen. Glory to God. God, amen. It's done what he came to do. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 You know, and it don't take but a few people. Amen. I used to pastor the church and God spoke to me and said, you're going to have to do what I gave you to do. I always do things twice in life. Everything I ever did in life. I I'm married two times. I used drugs twice. I didn't get it. It took me up just a hard learner. But that second time, brother, I'm telling you, you can't get it up out of me that second time. God said, I'm making sure you get it. I'm making sure it's in you. And I know, amen, glory to God, what I got to do, I got to do. Ain't nobody going to do what God gave me. Ain't nobody going to come and preach what God gave me to preach. Amen. 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 But it's what we need to be free in this hour. Amen. We need to be set free. Yes. And it's the spirit of the Lord that's going to set us free. We need the confidence in us. We need confidence in our home. We need the confidence in our children. Amen. amen. We thank God, amen. And amen. We're going to ask, amen, if anybody needs prayer. Amen. As a matter, as a matter of fight, let me just ask everybody to just come. Let's let's pray a corporate prayer together. Amen. And let's just pray. You know, and we are gonna bombard the heaven for a few minutes together. Amen. Pray for our brothers and sisters. Amen. Glory to God. Pray for folks that are in the darkness. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. They don't know they're in darkness. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me read, let's read this and say, Holy Ghost, with light divine, shine upon this heart of mine. Chase the shade a night away, turn my darkness into day. And that's what the Holy Ghost will do in the glory of God. Get a turn, darkness. Amen. In the day, amen. And we we are children of the light, amen, glory to God. Amen. I'm going to amen, ask the apostle, amen, if you don't mind, amen, leading us in the prayer, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for the word of the Lord tonight, God. God, we know without you we can do nothing, God. So we come tonight hungering and thirsting. You said, blessed are that hunger and thirst after righteousness they shall be filled. God, we're not seeking carnal things or natural things or things of this world, but God, we're seeking a move of your spirit. God, we're seeking a move of the Holy Ghost, God. We're seeking, God, a refreshing in our souls, in our minds, in, in our bodies. You said, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures say, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters, God. God, we're reaching out for that unstoppable move of the Holy Ghost, God, that which you promised through the mouth of Joel, God. God, we know it's standing on the day of 
Pentecost. God, we know, God, it started in the book of Acts, Lord. But God, you told us the glory of the latter house uh, would be greater than the glory of the former. So God, we're reaching out, uh, God, for that former reign first, God. God, we cry out for that restoration of a move uh, of the baptism of your spirit, God. We file uh, with gifts, uh, God, with ministries. Uh, raise up sons, raise up daughters, God. Uh, God, raise up handmaids. Uh, God, raise up apostles, raise up uh, pastors, teachers, evangelists, uh, handmaids and servants, men and women, God, that will deny themselves and take up the cross uh, and follow you uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we bind uh, that false anointing uh, that's going forth in the land. Uh, we bind that false spirit, God. Uh, God, we bind that witchcraft, religious, uh, demonic, seducing spirit. Uh, my God of this Jezebel, Babylon, this church, uh, and God, we cry out. Uh, we cry out for a move. Uh, God, you said you'd send Elijah. God, you said the spirit and power of Elijah would come or else you'd smite the earth uh, with a curse. Uh, God, we stand uh, against the curse tonight uh, and cry out for the Holy Ghost. Uh, cry out for that rain. Uh, cry out for that move. Uh, cry out for the joy of God. Uh, cry out for the love of God. Uh, that would be shed abroad in our hearts uh, by your spirit. Uh, God, not by might tonight. Uh, not by power, God. Uh, God, by my sickle, toward rebe, my God, by your spirit. Oh, God, stir up, stir us up by the Holy Ghost that we receive this engrafted word of God tonight. We receive that pure word of the Holy Ghost by faith tonight. We cry out, God, in Jesus' name, reach out in this region, reach out in this community, reach out in our churches, God. God, reach out in our homes, reach out in the prisons, God, reach out on the houses and on the bowers, and bring forth this move of your spirit, God. God, we praise you for it. We praise you for it tonight. We praise you for doing a new thing. God, you said you'd do a new thing in the land. My God, you said you'd cause waters to come forth out of the desert, Lord, and springs in the wilderness. Oh, I praise and I thank you. Thank you for the ministry of the Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ himself, the Almighty God, the Word made flesh. We thank you tonight. Thank you for refreshing us, God. Thank you for the spirit and power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. That's what Jesus said.